guys happy whatever day it is as you're watching this it's currently a wednesday for me and i'm in the bathroom and i thought i'm going to do my makeup maybe i'll go and get a little mirror actually hang on <laughs> tell you what <laughs> getting up and down is getting harder <laughs> what do i even have to update you on i'm not gonna lie my life is just not really that interesting right now it's still that kind of weird in between where it's like the world is kind of opening up again and everything's becoming a bit more normal um but i'm still being quite cautious obviously i'm pregnant um it's it's a weird one because you feel like when you're in lockdown i don't know about you guys but everyone is so like available because none of you are doing anything and now it's like everyone is you know out living their life having fun getting back to normal going back to the office this mirror is very zoomed in but but not in a helpful way it's weird it's like should I be doing more? Should I be going here, doing that? But you know me, I'm a bit of a homebody anyway. So how have you guys coped with the easing of the rules? Like, are you going out now? Are you just like living your life like you were before? Are you still being cautious? Are you still a bit like anxious about it all? I feel like I'm somewhere in the middle if I really want to do something, I'm doing it in a safe way, obviously, in the way that we're allowed. But I'm not overdoing it and I'm not seeing everyone. In fact, literally one of my friends earlier was like, I've not seen you since you've been pregnant. I'm like, I've really not seen many people since I've been pregnant. Um, <laughs> there's gonna be a lot of people that just don't see me pregnant, I think which is weird. I'm now seven months and I have two months to go, which is also, not gonna lie, freaking me out. Not freaking me out, just making me a little bit overwhelmed because I feel like I have so much to do. You know what, I'm doing it at my own pace, that's what I'm doing and I think that's all you can do. Just do what you're comfortable with. I don't really want to put too much makeup on this morning because it's hot and well I say hot but it's kind of just like really muggy does anyone use that word Mark always says that he uses the word close which I actually really like because I know exactly what he means when he says that close muggy humid um and also I just, I think my eyes have become quite sensitive. So when I put a lot of makeup around my eyes, it just, my eyes start watering. Just put a bit more under there. I think I look tired today. I actually have footage that I totally forgot that I didn't upload. And I think the reason for this is because Alfie uploaded his vlog of when we went to London. And in my head, I just think I thought, oh, well, I've, I've already watched that. That's already happened. Um, but I didn't upload my footage, so I am gonna insert that after this, so you can watch that. But yeah, that was a couple of weeks ago now, so time has moved on. <laughs> Bit of a throwback. So yeah, as I said, I'm now seven months prego. Um, feeling good, I have to say. Everyone told me, just you wait till the third trimester. I mean, I have to say, I'm. I'm on, I'm on the other side of the third trimester. But I, obviously I had um, my low blood pressure at the start of the second trimester, which really threw me off. So it feels nice now that I don't feel as much like that. Um, that's not to say that I feel like I have bundles of energy because I definitely don't. <laughs> the bump is definitely heavier. I'm in no pain. Um, but I feel the like weight of her now um, bearing down, shall we say. Um, and I actually did say at my last appointment, I was like, um, I get this thing where I feel like my legs are made of lead 
and like lifting them is like hard work and she was like oh yeah um that'll be the that'll be the baby on your you know on your nerves and like pressing down she was like maybe see if you can buy a support belt so I have ordered one of those on Amazon. So we'll see how I get on with that. It only generally happens if I've been standing up for a long time or like walking a lot. So if we're like in town or something, I'll just get to a point where I'm like, okay, my legs feel like they're not my legs. I still don't think Nala has a clue what's going on. Um, so many people ask me like, oh, do you think she knows? Nah, I, I, I don't. I don't think Nala is the smartest dog. That's not to say she's not smart at all. She's smart in other areas, but I think she knows something is different with me, but I think she was more aware of that in the first trimester when I was, what are you doing? When I was in bed a lot. <laughs> but now that I'm not in bed or not like, I was in the first trimester. I just, I don't think she thinks anything else is different. So she's gonna get the shock of her life. I feel like if you could all ask me a question right now, you'd be asking me, how are you getting on with the nursery? Do you feel like you've bought everything you need? The answer to that is, uh, I bought, sorry, one of the neighbors is having some work done. So if you can hear a, drill what is that what was i saying uh i feel like in terms of things i've bought i'm about halfway there i reckon nursery mm -mm. we have not done the nursery <laughs> we know what we want to do we've got the wallpaper it's just finding somebody to come and like do it because i'm not about to try and um what's it called when you apply wallpaper lay wallpaper hang wallpaper that's it i'm not about to try and hang wallpaper and neither is alfie because one of us will get that so wrong and it will look awful and the wallpaper was pretty spenny so i'm not prepared to botch that up um so we're currently just trying to find somebody who can come in and do that. And then I feel like once that's done, we can start putting things in there. Um, I've ordered a cot that got savagely delayed. I ordered it in May <laughs> and it's July. <laughs> so never mind. <laughs> These things happen. All I can say is it's a good job I ordered it in May. Well, they're saying that. It's not the cot she's gonna sleep in straight away, so it doesn't really matter. But that, sh that should be arriving soon. But yeah, in terms of feeling like, am I ready? No. I haven't started hypnobirthing yet, and I wanted to do that. And I'm literally 31 weeks tomorrow. Do you know what though? So many people say to me, it doesn't matter what you've got done because all your baby needs is food, clothes and love and nurture and a bed. <laughs> really, at the end of the day, we're stripping it right back. Your baby just needs you, really. Um, and so I'm not trying to be too hard on myself. Whatever I can get done, I can get done, but PSA, this Anastasia brown freeze is fabulous. Love it. Right, what do I want now? Some mascara and then I'm probably done, to be honest. Does anyone else get a runny nose when they do their mascara? Still loving these Bare Minerals Hydra Smoothing Lipsticks. Mineralization, it balance me. For the rest of today, I actually, I have tip-ins to sign for Magpie Society um, 2 for Joy. Oh God, my hiccups and like diaphragm. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna do that because usually I would like crunch over her 
um, table and do it. But I feel like now I have a bump, I'm not sure how I'm going to get on with that. <laughs> I'm sure I'll find a way to make it work. Um, but yeah, not even really too sure what I'm going to film today. But that is what I'm going to get done. Um, and then later on, we've got some of the girls from the office coming over. And we're going to watch the football because it's the Euros and everyone's very excited. I can't say that I am um, a huge football fan. So I don't want to sit here and try and make out that A, I know the sport inside out because I really don't. B, that I know really too much of what's going on when I'm watching it. But I like the camaraderie. Um, I like how excited everybody else gets and it's fun <laughs> it's something to do um but yeah i'm not gonna sit here and try and make out i'm like a real football fan because i'm not <laughs> it's just not a sport that i've ever paid too much attention to um in fact there's not really many sports that i'm into i'm just i'm not the most sporty gal which you know, it's just so surprising. <laughs> Definitely isn't surprising in the slightest. I'm going to insert the footage from London now, so I hope you enjoy that. And then uh, I will come right back to you after that with the rest of my day. Hello, everybody. If you watched my last vlog, then you will have seen that I ended it by saying that Alfie and I had come away for a little staycation baby moon getaway and that we were staying in possibly one of the most insanely beautiful like out of this world hotels that i still am like pinching myself that i'm even here <laughs> and i feel like at any minute they're gonna come and knock on the door and be like oh no sorry <laughs> we got it a bit wrong you're 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 back here i thought i would start the vlog just by giving you a little bit of a room tour or at least like a little tour of the hotel. We're staying in the Langham, London. Alfie's actually been here a few times for work stuff, but I've never been here before. I've driven past it a few times, I've seen it, but I've never stayed here. So they very kindly reached out to Alfie and I and they said to congratulate you on your news and to give you and Alfie a little celebratory slash baby moon um, staycation, we would love to invite you to come and stay here. We were like, oh my gosh, we would absolutely love that, especially because we basically haven't really been anywhere for like 18 months. So we were really, really excited about it. And we arrived around an hour ago. Um, so let me show you some of the things in this hotel room that have blown our minds. So as you come in, um, the most beautiful flowers I've ever seen. Like what, what even are these? They're so impressive. Peonies, but it looks beautiful. And it's kind of inspired me to make gorgeous flower arrangements just on a table in our house. I love it. Um, and then through here, they'd set out, oh, <laughs> Alfie's left the gin here, but that wasn't here before. <laughs> they'd set out an afternoon tea. Um, we have been nibbling at this already more gorgeous flowers and a really lovely note that says the Langham London was the first hotel to serve afternoon tea we are delighted to share our uh, current menu with you a twist on a classic great British biscuits and tarts also whoever wrote this you have the neatest writing and I feel like they've written it with like a quill <laughs> it looks amazing this looks like a custard cream Oh my goodness. So yeah, Alfie and I already started tucking into these, but already very delicious. And then this is like the living area. Enough fruit to last us a lifetime, but also I, if you have been watching any of my pregnancy videos, I have absolutely devoured so much fruit in this pregnancy that this <laughs> makes me so happy. But yeah, it's absolutely insane. Then, come through into the boudoir. They very kindly 
put out a pregnancy pillow for me and actually I was gonna bring mine from home and then I was like no I can't rock up to a hotel with my pregnancy pillow and it was like they read my mind <laughs> and I'm so this made me so unbelievably happy I love it so yeah this is the bedroom biggest bed ever over here now popular this actually made me cry <laughs> because I was like I can't believe they've done that that is the nicest thing oh um so the note says congratulations on your baby announcement we asked our team to recommend their favorite children's books and with the help of our local bookshop Daunt Books we put a collection together for when your little one arrives the Langham team so we've got the tiger who came to tea each peach pear plum which I have to say was also a favorite of mine and then another whole bag of books so we've got harry mcclary from donaldson's dairy oh alfie this one guess how much i love you did you ever read this Where is it oh yeah yeah definitely that is like one of the cutest books avocado baby oh i've not heard of that one cute um good night moon and everyone's favorite the hungry caterpillar did they do the hungry caterpillar yeah that is the number one isn't it Banger. i'm gonna read these to you tonight <laughs> i just thought is that not the most thoughtful little gift like that proper made my day um and i just thought what a lovely sentiment alfie and i usually come to london for like work stuff so it's really nice to be here and it feel like a holiday um but yeah i'm really excited oh and also have you seen how much it's raining is it <laughs> yeah it's absolutely chucking that. it down this bath is an infinity bath so when you run it the water comes over and then runs back in which I think is where I'm gonna be all night. We've even got our little rubber ducks to pop in the bath as well. I said this to Alfie when I came in here, I was like, I think this is the nicest hotel room I have ever stayed in. Like I just, I, I can't believe how lovely it is. And yeah, just very lucky to be here. So, so yeah, Alfie and I are now gonna have a little look at the room service menu and maybe play a little game of cards or Quirkle. We really know how to live it up in London. <laughs> to be honest, when you're in a room like this, you don't really wanna go anywhere. You just wanna stay in and like really make the most of it. So I think that's what we're gonna do tonight. It's the next day and Alfie and I have just had some lunch and I've got two things I wanna share with you. Why does this look so blue? Wait a minute, that's better. I have two things I want to share with you. One, I feel like Revels are very underrated. These are the ultimate cinema sweet treat for me. I don't know if anyone else would always get a bag of Revels at the cinema, but I love a bag of Revels. Two, how flipping sad is Marley and me? <laughs> Also, what's going on with my lighting here? Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, I didn't have it on the right setting. Why don't you put it on this? That's what I had it on before. Is that better? Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. I mean, I had it on this before and it looked really blue. Um, yeah, Marley and Me. It's just the saddest film. We just sat there just crying. <laughs> As we were eating our lunch, it was on the TV. <laughs> and then afterwards, me and Alfie were just like crying. <laughs> my makeup's probably literally blotchy at this point. I don't know what it is about that film, guys. It hits harder when you've got a dog <laughs> and a baby on the way. It hits real hard if you have a dog. It hits even harder if you have like a child and a dog or a child on the way. We don't have a child yet. But when I first saw it at the cinema, I'd never had a dog growing up. So no dogs in my family. <laughs> and I didn't own a dog at the time. And I remember leaving the cinema just sobbing in the car all the way home. <laughs> I, if you've not seen Marley and Me, oof, 
that is a tearjerker. Even if you try and stop it, you can't. You can't. <laughs> Alfie and I are now gonna head out for a little mooch around. Um, we are obviously in the Langham, which is very, very central. It's on Regent Street, right? Mm -hmm. So we can essentially walk out of the door and just be in the hustle Central and bustle. London, yeah. Although it's still kind of quiet, I have to say. So quiet. Are you enjoying think... that bit of gas? <laughs> no, you just tell me you've got acid reflux without telling me you have acid reflux. <laughs> Eat a meal and bang a cheeky little gabascon. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're just going to have a little wander around. It's been really rainy. We've had like the best weather like last week and now we're having a lot of rain. But it looks like it's stopped. So we're going to take an umbrella take our chances and see how far we get before the next clip you see will probably look like drowned rats yeah but we can take an umbrella <laughs> yeah this is my little outfit of the day yeah risky with no nicks or shorts shut on shut up i got just shorts just straight on. up freestyling i've it. got shorts on i just really liked this this was from urban outfitters oh your battery's flashing you got I a spare know. one i know no but you have have you got a spare <laughs> you came <laughs> no. on the trip without a spare battery you didn't bring one. No. What a shame. I bought two for me. <laughs> I've even got one full one in my pocket now. You brought one for me. You can buy it off me if you want. <laughs> anyway, this t-shirt is from Urban Outfitters. <laughs> Have you actually not bought one? No. <laughs> I didn't bring Did you one. just assume I would? Yeah. For, for you? Why do you have two then? That sums up my entire Why? relationship. <laughs> Why do you have two? Because I know you will not bring one. Exactly, and I know you know I won't but bring one. But what happens one. when I don't? <laughs> Those are the times I remember to bring one. If you enjoyed this vlog, that's purely down to me. <laughs> Anything past this clip, thank me for. <laughs> so, it's a t-shirt dress, and I've just got it on with my chunky trainers. Thank you very much for the battery. Um, and I do have shorts on underneath. Um, I have been tucking the t-shirt up so that you can see I'm wearing the shorts, but I don't know if that's a bit kind of like vaggy. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? What, tuck the t-shirt up your vag? Of course it's a No, vag. no, not up my vag. I just oh, mean tuck the t-shirt up so you can see I'm wearing the shorts. Yeah, kind of like that, but um, yeah, it's rainy, but it's still very hot. Oh, yeah, <laughs> so this is my... Um, rainy but hot London outfit. Here's the bump. That. 28 weeks. The Queen just walked into Starbucks opposite. Did she? Yeah, it's London life, isn't it? <laughs> For a little update. Officially in the third trimester. Three. I was doing a peace sign but it looked like I was saying third. So three. Uh, yeah, she's been moving around a lot this morning. And now she's about to be hopefully rocked to sleep by all the walking. Back. I actually didn't film anything while we were mooching around. Um, Alfie got a little bit you of didn't footage. Film anything. No, I didn't. <laughs> Do you want to give me some clips? What did you film? You didn't film much, did you? You filmed no, a little bit in Liberty. Yeah. It's hard when you're in shops, um, obviously, because then they've got background music on. And also, your masks are on and. Yeah. You just get the video taken down if you film too much in a shop. But also me and Mark were literally saying this in one of my other vlogs where it's like when you're in town at the minute and you've got a mask on and everyone's sort of trying to keep away from each other, it's just, just not easy to vlog. Um, but we did pop into Liberty. Shall I show them what we bought? Yeah. Let me go and get it. So they had a little... Oh! <laughs> they had a little children's wear section. I'm burping. I haven't even eaten anything. And they had some really lovely clothes. But as you know, we have a lot of clothes, so we were quite good. What we did buy, though, <laughs> which I fell in love with, was this little hedgehog. Look at him. Um, this brand just do the cutest little toys. It's called Mayleg. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. Mayleg. M-A-I-L-E-G. And it's got like beans in it. And you know I love a hedgehog. So when I saw this, I was like, <laughs> I 
can't leave it. It's too cute. And then we noticed that they had some of the Beanie Bamba um, like snugglers and they also had some of them, uh, what were they called? Play mats? Mat. Snuggle mat, wriggle mat. Wriggle mat. Yeah. These are the ones that you can put in prams or Moses baskets or um, on the floor, anywhere you want. But it's like super soft. And this one's striped. And I see so many people have these in their um, push chairs and things. And they just look like the comfiest little inserts in the world so we got one of those looks like this oh i really like the colorway we got same we got a stripey one oh it's so soft imagine like just lying in that i think i might do it tonight oh it's so nice and really lovely for oh you can put it put like um in rockers and things too because mm -hmm. it's got like the slit so you can pull like seat belts and safety attachments through it and like for push chairs i suppose but yeah well you could probably just lay it on the floor for tummy time yeah i definitely haven't put this back in how it was in there have i oh how much does that annoy you <laughs> oh that's the most sorry thing ever i rolled it the wrong way i'll do it <laughs> Alfie went into a clothes shop. Oh, we didn't actually buy clothes in there though, did we? We no. bought some quite cool things. It's like such a good clothes shop. It's called End Clothing. And we bought everything that isn't clothing. <laughs> yeah. We bought no clothing from End Clothing. But this is one of your fave shops. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. I order from there online quite a bit. Or whenever I do order online, I do order from there. I got these candles. I actually got my mum some of these for Mother's Day. They're yeah, hay. Are they? Yeah, they're just. Oh, yeah, hay. Yeah. Hey. Hey, <laughs> hey you. Hey, are So you get six in, a, six in a box and they're all like twisty and cool. Oh, they stink though. <laughs> then, also from hay, we got some glass straws. Clear glass straws are my favourite of all the straws. I don't mind a, what are the other ones? Uh, like a um, metallic, aluminium, mm -hmm. al aluminium, but glass ones are my favourite. I don't know what it is. I feel like they clean better. They last longer. They're I trust nice them because well. I can see through them. I'm one of those weird people that's like, if you give me a silver straw, I almost want to clean it myself so I know that there's nothing like stuck in that bit that goes around the corner. Especially if you wash your straws in your dishwasher because the amount of times I've sucked on a straw and I've had something from the dishwasher in my mouth. Those ones come with a little cleaner. Can yeah, it so comes with a little, little, little cleaner. I don't know, I just like, I like a glass straw. So we've got some clear ones at home but these ones are multicolored. And then we also got these little cocktail ones for Smaller iced coffees and little cocktails. Then, I saw this and I just thought, this sounds like a bit of me. Me and Alfie can play this in the hotel room tonight. Shits and sausages snap card game. <laughs> Shall we have a look at what some of these look like? A 56 card pack. Object of the game is to win all of the cards. The loser must clean the toilet. Oh my God, these are funny. Card number one. <laughs> You know who I feel like would like this? Sean. So we're gonna have a game of that tonight. Snap. I think I've, this, ha this is gonna sound really stupid, but I think I've forgotten how to play Snap. You put them down on top of each other, don't you? Yeah, you, you put one, then I put one. You yeah. put one, then I put one, and then you put your hand on it and go Snap, if you have, if you to have the two the same. And then do you pick up the pile if you lose? No. And then, because I can't go to Carnaby Street and not go to Crumbs and Doilies, I got some cupcakes, didn't I? One of each. We've got the Homer Simpson, a Biscoff, 
I think this one was vanilla and raspberry, a red velvet and Oreo. I think this was like a chocolate cornflake caramel one. And then this is an Eaton mess, which I've got my eye on. So I think what I might do is run a bath and take a cupcake in there with me which sounds like the dream little afternoon pick me up <laughs> okay the bath is ready it kind of like falls over and then this water comes back in through some jets i think um so i've got my laptop bath got one of my cupcakes and I am going to fully submerge myself and enjoy my bath. It's our last morning in the hotel. Um, we've just packed up, we're ready to go. I think we're gonna have a little mooch around London before we head home. Um, but it's been so amazing. I literally feel like I've been on holiday. I've loved it. Thank you, Langham. Thank you for having us for being incredible. Sad to say goodbye to these beautiful flowers. Look at them. Look at these peonies. Insane, they don't even look real. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go out and explore. I don't even know if I showed you the view from here. But we are right opposite the BBC. Had fun? Had the best time. Been just Relax. These two words don't really go together in our life. Relax and trip in London. <laughs> yeah, they don't. They don't normally go together, but <laughs> really relax and trip in London. Um, Alfie and I thought that today would be really busy because it's Saturday, but obviously it's busier when there's people in London working at the moment because of COVID. So I've taken one look outside, which is Regent Street. There's not really there's a no lot way. going. There's not really a lot going on out there, so it might be quite nice to just have a little mooch before we go back. Um, pick up Nala, who's been at Alfie's mum and dad's house. Oh, so do you know what else is nice? What? Whenever we come to London, like if we ever do do any bits of shopping in London, we always get the train. So yeah. We have to carry everything home. If we did buy like I don't know some clothes or whatever, we've got the car. Yeah, we drove here. So, like, we could literally buy. It Oh, know. that reminds me. We need to pay the congestion charge. Very true. Oh. <laughs> okay, but yeah. Leaving now. Goodbye, hotel room. Goodbye, amazing infinity bath. Goodbye, delicious breakfast. Back to present day. I thought I would give you a little bump update. Uh, this is my 31 week bump. There she is in all her glory. It's so funny, like when people see my bump, they're either like, oh my God, your bump is huge. Or, oh my God, your bump is tiny. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what it's supposed to be, but this is, this is it. And like my little tummy button that's like poking out. I lost my belly button very early on. <laughs> it just sort of went flat, but now I think it's about to, I think it's about to poke but yeah I love my little pregnant tummy very figure hugging dress actually geez you can see everything <laughs> may as well not be wearing it not long left <laughs> it's a little bit later I've done a few worky calls and now I am signing signing the book plates so this is like the bit that goes in the book at the front for the um signed copies and then these go over to amy once i finished and she then also signs them i've already done one box today which is good going and i've just cracked open into another box and I've just got Handmaid's Tail on and I'm just seeing how many I can get done before my back says no more. <laughs> She's happy.
having a little wiggle. What a gorgeous afternoon. Oh, just as I say that, oh no, sun's come back out again. I was gonna say, oh, just as I say that, the sun went behind a cloud. Um, I've come out to pick some of my sweet peas. Look at these. They smell incredible. These my mum grew from seeds and she brought them up and I planted them in here. I definitely need to kind of like attach them to this frame a bit more. They've all sort of fallen down, um, but I'm gonna pick some so that I can put them inside because they smell incredible. I think sweet peas are one of my favorite flowers I love the smell of them like nothing beats the smell of a sweet pea to me there we go <laughs> I love it I need to find more candles that smell like this because it's just the best smell now because I want to be outside a bit longer <laughs> it's so nice out here and it's been so rainy and miserable for so long I'm gonna have a little go at tying this and just making it a bit more presentable <laughs> I sit there asking more questions <laughs> I'm like that annoying person that's like so why has that happened with that and how come that's happened and how come this is going on um, but it was very fun um, to watch and now I guess there's a final on Sunday Nala is in her bed um, I don't know if I said on the vlogs but we've been training her to sleep not in our bed because Alfie and I always said we're not gonna have a dog that sleeps in the bed and then like everyone who says that where did our dog end up always sleeping every night in our bed with us <laughs> and we thought with baby on the way it's probably not the most practical to have me Alfie and Nala in a bed um, so we've been like moving her into her own bed and it's going very well I think she prefers it if I'm honest um, she'll still jump up in the morning and get us up but you sleep down there now in your bed she's so cute but yeah I'm gonna end the vlog here um, hope you enjoyed the mishmash of today with the London day and um, I will see you again very soon bye